Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. All right, every hey everyone, check this out here. Whole foods, plant-based, no oils, burger. Yeah, black bean burger. Come on in, I'll show you how to make it, and I guarantee it's going to taste good. Come on. All right, so I took one 15-ounce can of black beans, gave them a good rinse, let them drain good, two big fat cloves of garlic, microplane it up here. Now we need to add a little bit of wet to make up for some of the dry ingredients we're going to add. So get you some veggie broth out. I'm probably used about maybe about a little bit less than a half a cup here on it. One third of a cup of nutritional yeast, that's going to give it a nice little cheesy kind of flavor there. Speaking of flavor, one big fat tablespoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, I love the taste of oregano with black beans, one third of a cup of rolled oats, use the old fashioned or instant, whatever you got lying around, that's fine. And let's add a teaspoon of onion powder, a couple of good grinds of fresh ground black pepper. Get everything mixed together. You're going to have to play with it, add a little bit more moisture, mash it up a little bit, a little bit more moisture. Just keep working it. Slowly add the moisture here until everything gets incorporated. And when it looks something like that and you can kind of clump it together and it stays, you got it ready. Okay, I want to add a little bit of a crust onto it here. That's why I'm pouring out the breadcrumbs here. Breadcrumbs will give it a nice crunch. Uh, if you're having trouble finding uh, no oils, uh, whole foods, plant-based compliant breadcrumbs, check the link down below. I'll show you where you can get that. And I'll show you where you can get the wax paper there, the, uh, the food service wax paper. Check the link down below. I'll show you where you can get all of that stuff. All right, so you want to get both sides good and dusted with your breadcrumbs. Now we're ready to start cooking. Go ahead, preheat your pan on a medium heat. We don't want to cook it too fast. You want to cook it nice and slow. We want to slowly brown the breadcrumbs. We want to get it nice and hot on the inside. And we want to get kind of steam it a little bit here. So you want to be sure and put your cover on your pan. That way we can steam it. And that'll give the oats a chance to absorb some of the moisture and help bind things together. All right, so when you flip it and it looks nice and brown like that, give it about maybe three minutes on a medium flame and you're going to look something like that. Cook the other side and when both sides look nice and golden brown like that, it's burger time, boys and girls. Okay, I'm using my Gabe's Killer Bread here. Grab whatever greens you got in the fridge. Hey, you should have a whole bunch of good greens there, so I shouldn't have to uh, get too picky on that. I'm using some collard greens. I got some greens off of radishes and beets. Just whatever you got. Throw you some onions, some tomatoes on there. Hey, I love my mustard, so uh, hey, mustard tastes good on a burger and it tastes good off of my finger too. I promise. You know what will go great with this burger? That's right, onion rings. Check the channel and I'll show you how to make you some great oil-free onion rings. If you like the video, click subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget we got a printable recipe down below where you can make it at home. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Bye now. Y'all take care.